father of a girl killed in a car crash one year ago is using tragedy as an opportunity to do something positive. He's started a campaign called Share for Shannon. It encourages people to do something nice in her memory. NBC 10's Susie Steimel is in Boroughville this noon hour with more on this concept. Susie? Hi, Frank. Well, one year ago today, we were standing here reporting on a breaking news accident that took the lives of two 19-year-olds. Now, we're still talking about the impact that one of those deceased victims is still having on the community here today, all thanks to a social media campaign started by her father. Shannon Heil left this world at age 19 on July 11, 2013. A gut-wrenching head-on car crash between her car and a van on Route 102 in Burrowville ended her life and the life of her friend Markel Torres. The second I walked into that hospital, I, I just knew and I just broke down. At the time, I didn't really feel anything. I didn't really feel anything for the rest of that, like, weekend. On the one-year anniversary of her death, it'd be easy for Shannon's friends and family to be sad or angry, but they're not even entertaining that idea. <laughs> My nature is not to be angry. Instead, they're donating breakfast to the first responders who were on the scene of the accident that day. It's an idea called Share for Shannon. They want you to do something nice in her memory. This morning we're at Dunkin' Donuts, I bought someone's coffee from behind, behind me, so that was my first part of Share It for Shannon. The Share for Shannon isn't about doing something big, like on this scale. Share for Shannon is like going into a nursing home, finding some woman in a room by herself, sitting there for an hour and say, tell me about your life. The day after the crash, we found a candle lit for Shannon on the scene of the accident that read, let your light shine forever. For Brian Heil, this project does exactly that by keeping his daughter's spirit alive. Unlike most other random acts of kindness, you are being encouraged to brag about this one if you choose to share for Shannon today. Her dad really wants to read about the positive impact that this project is having on the world in his daughter's memory. So we have links on our Facebook page and our website for you to share for Shannon if you choose to do so today. For now, live in Burrowville, Susie Steimel, NBC10 News.